Hello everyone. Welcome back to another short but exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn to create this nice looking smoke text reveal in After Effects without using any third party plugins. Without further ado, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects, then create a new composition. I am calling it smoke text reveal. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, and set the duration to 7 seconds. Let me import the required smoke footage, it would greatly enhance your project if you could find a higher quality smoke footage. Drag and drop the smoke footage to the composition. Right click on the smoke footage. Go to transform, then choose fit to comp. This action will adjust the smoke footage to fit the screen. Again right click on the smoke footage, then go to time. And choose a time stretch. Change the value from 100 to 85. This action will shorten the duration of our smoke footage. Keep the smoke footage selected. Go to the effects and presets. Search and apply the sharpen effect on it. Change the sharpen amount to 75. Let's review our smoke footage. Excellent. After some adjustments, it appears perfect to me. Move the smoke footage slightly towards the bottom. Cool. Go to the toolbar and select the type tool. Here you can check my character settings. I am using the font name called Nasalization. Kindly ensure that the font size is increased to a larger setting. Click anywhere on the screen, then type anything you want. Center the anchor point. Then align your text to the center. Move the text layer just below the smoke footage. Change the smoke footage mode from normal to overlay. Right click on the text layer. Then choose pre-compose. Name it Text Comp. Move your time cursor to the first frame. Right click on the text layer. Go to Effects, then Transition. And choose Linear Wipe. Change the angle from 90 to negative 270 degrees. Change the transition completion amount to 100%. Then add a keyframe. Go forward to 4 seconds on a timeline. Then change the transition completion amount back to 0%. Also, change the feather amount to 100. Let's see the preview. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Let's make it more realistic and professional. So, right click on the empty space and create an adjustment layer. Keep the adjustment layer selected. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the Gaussian blur legacy effect on it. Change the blurriness amount to 15. Again go to effects and presets. Search and apply the wave warp effect on it. Change the wave width amount to 50. Move your time cursor to the first frame. Select the adjustment layer, go to the toolbar, and select the rectangle tool. Now, create a mask just like this. Go under the mask. Then add a keyframe on mask path. Go forward to 4 seconds. Select the selection tool from the toolbar. Select the mask tool, and drag the mask to the right side of the screen. Finally, change the mask feather amount to 150. Let's see the final output. 
Fantastic. This is exactly what I had in mind. Our smoke text reveal is completed, and you can change the text easily. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please click the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. It'll encourage me to make more great tutorials. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.